right here is Mr. Harold Hudson on saxophone. <laughs> Behind me is Mr. Ian Dixon, who is a phenomenal, phenomenal player. And way back in the corner here is Wit. And he's got a neat little box that he drums on instead of bringing a big drum set. And it sounds really cool. And over here to my right is Nisha Lavengood and Cindy Anthematon. And they're going to be doing some backup work for me. And of course, everybody knows Randy. This is my honey. And, and without him, I couldn't do this because I can't play anything. I sing and I write. <laughs> My first song that I'm going to do, it's called Think Again. I actually wrote it in this room when it was a nasty garage. Yes, did. I did. I said, leave me alone. I'm going to the garage. <laughs> and I came up with Think Again. <laughs> you ready? Can you see? Okay. <laughs> If you're feeling kind of low, world is moving slow, think again. If you're worrying all night that something ain't right, think again. Life is what you make, you control your fate. Makes no sense to why you just be wasting time. So think again. Yeah, think again. If you're in a dead end job, enough to make you sob, think again. If you think it's all you know and you've got nowhere to go, think again. Life is what you make, you control your fate. Makes no sense to why you just be wasting time. So think again. tonight i know your time is valuable and i really appreciate you coming to spend it with us tonight i'm gonna uh do a song it's called a work in progress randy and i were sitting in my backyard i have a house in arlington and kind of sitting there talking about relationships and how they're all a work in progress and we came up with this sexy little song <laughs>
tell me how you feel I wanna make you want me away Please tell me this is real It's real guys know us um randy and i have been together it'll be probably seven years in november we met actually on an online dating site and it actually worked <laughs> he wasn't a stalker or a crazy guy and i wasn't a gold digger so it was good and we both had the love of music <laughs> what any gold to do <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure no <laughs> crazy point. Yeah, crazy. We got to be a little crazy though. But um Yeah, we both we both had the love of music and Randy told me that what attracted him to my profile was the fact that I had said the Beatles are the best band that has ever lived and it, you know, that was a match made in heaven as it was. By the way, the Abbey Road sign has been added in the last week. And I've had that order right. for 2 years so they came in. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's usually a new piece of uh stuff yeah. put in this in this room whenever you come in there's always going to be something new to look at randy is a, a dedicated pack rat but it works in here it works in here <laughs> and uh randy and i i was pretty much a i would say a poet and short story writer before i met randy and i had just kind of started flirting with the the writing music and, and turning my poetry kind of in a a different dynamic and of course I, like I said I don't play an instrument I mean I can do a tambourine I can shake and things, things like that <laughs> but I, I don't play an actual musical instrument so he um, he was a, a real blessing and uh, I was able to create a lot more and, and we've co-written a lot together and we just you know this whole thing blossomed so it worked out and Randy of course he's been writing songs way way back he's a lot older than I am <laughs> hey, facts are facts. It's true, it's, it's true. true. But there is a song that Randy wrote. Uh, it's called A Year Now. It was one of the first songs that I'd ever heard when I met him. And uh, I liked it so much, I stole it. Yes, you did. <laughs> so I'm going to do it for you tonight. It's called A Year Now. It was written in May of 2002. It's been a year now since I met you and I learned how to trust and I bet you that it shows now everything that I do. When I see you, my heart it beats faster because I'm tied to you like a slave to a master and what I'm thinking, I'm hoping I pray it'll come true. The future is brighter than sunshine, although I know I'm totally love blind. Wanna be with you every night. 
of perfection should we fight it or should we simply give in walk inside by side no matter the weather just the boys and us start a life together oh my darling when will we pretty good rider. <laughs> another, another way that, that I found uh, to write songs, Randy will just kind of sit around with the TVs on or when I'm trying to go to sleep and he'll start playing these riffs and every once in a while he'll come up with some funky little fun riff and then my brain kicks into gear and I come up with lyrics and this song is uh, it's called Down by the River and it all started with one of those funky little riffs that he was doing and uh, kind of put lyrics with it, and voila, a song. <laughs> a song is born. Let me get a sip here real quick. G minor, baby. It is. Okay. <laughs> started playing one night at my house and 
This is All I Want. This is one that Randy and I wrote together, and it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, us gals, we always want more time from our man, and we kind of get a little demanding about it, so this is what the song's about. You got it? There he is. <laughs> and this is in the key of F. <laughs> yeah, Randy. Randy has a has this thing where he just has a really hard time remembering what key I do things in. And then when we're like broadcasting live over the internet, and you know the world is watching, he starts playing my song in the wrong key. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, um, start start over. He's like, huh, sing it. <laughs> he threw me under the bus. Hence, I remind him of the key that we do stuff in. Give you that attention Ain't gonna hang you on the line Give you that attention I give you the time Give you that attention Don't want to hang you on the line Give you that attention Time for just you and I Just you and I Tonight Just you and I Tonight Tonight. Want some attention. Tonight. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about the bad chord. <laughs> <laughs> what bad chord? This one will be a little challenging. This is a song that Randy and I wrote, oh, let's see when, uh, September 1st of 2006. And we have performed it before, not often, but Randy's always 
been the one to sing it. So I decided that I was going to challenge myself tonight and um, take this song on. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be in the key of C. The what? Yeah? Okay. I haven't, I haven't ventured out to the Spanish style yet. But. Yeah. <laughs> This will either be okay or it'll be a train wreck. We'll see. <laughs> Almost remembered. <laughs> uh, I, I 
I like I said, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. It has. So I see some uh, unfamiliar faces and some familiar faces. How many of you, this is your first time here? Oh, <laughs> I know you're a liar. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I am so glad that you're here, and I hope that you do come back. We have a lot of great people that come in and out of here, and it's just kind of homey and cozy, and everybody brings great food, and we, we enjoy doing this. I hope you enjoy being here and you come back. Yes. Yeah. This is a, this is a, I guess it's one of my songs. Well, you kind of helped on it. You know, Randy helps me on everything, so you were. Well, you know, he, he's got to. He's the only one who plays guitar. I know. <laughs> Hopefully that's right. B flat. B flat? You doing B flat? Um, you no, B flat? Yeah. That's, that's what it says. That's what Randy told me he was going to do it in. <laughs> <laughs> the, fun, the fun thing about, about Randy and I, though, is that when I, I do come up with some lyrics, every once in a while the, the melody comes in my head, too, and that's the best part. So I just sing it to him, and then he finds it. It's just magical. <laughs> sometimes that happens. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Let me do my book over, because this is a really wordy song. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. I'll tell you what, totally. 
If I had to blow on that thing, I would cough up a lung. I don't see where he gets all that air from. One thing. Target, <laughs> One thing you can say about Harold Hudson, he is full of hot air. <laughs> we could all be so lucky. Well, um, I want to draw some attention to one of our audience members. The one wearing the Spider Man shirt. <laughs> subtle, Very subtle. His name is Jim Nitschke, and he too is a songwriter, musician, singer. He kind of does it all, and he's been doing it for a really, really long time. He, he's he's kind of like an old dude like Randy. <laughs> but, but you know, thinks professional wrestling is real, and the moon landing was a fake. But he's a darn good songwriter. He really is, and he wrote a song, and it's called "I Flirt." And I heard him do it, and I thought, you know, what a cool little song. But he wrote it, of course, from a male perspective. And I said to him, I said, you know, Jim, I'd love to do that song, but you're going to have to rewrite it for me because I'm going to sound kind of funny singing that. And he went home, and he was sweet and kind enough to rewrite it for me. She stole it. And I stole it. <laughs> but I always give him credit. Yeah. I do, don't I, Jim? A good thief always even, gives a person credit. <laughs> even when yeah. she's not around, she gives him credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. And uh, we're going to do this in G. Ready? I'm ready. You're ready. <laughs> I'm just a regular girl. Let's get this dance all a whirl. But the sound of guitar, a guy at the bar, I had no warning. Soon the guy from the bar Was dancing away In shameful display in my arms I flirt Ooh, just enough to be nice Not enough to be naughty Just enough to be nice But never enough to be naughty Sunday morning Thinking things would be boring But at the end of the pew A guy with eyes that deep blue I had no warning He kept smiling my way I was in shameful display He took me in his arms Using his charms, that's okay Just enough to be nice Not enough to be naughty Just enough to be nice But never enough to be naughty I'm out driving my car Saw that guy from the bar Thought I heard a loud sound But boy was I wrong, I had no warning he said, pull over here, you got an open beer. That's when I discovered the badge he uncovered. Oh, my dear. I flirt, ooh, just enough to be nice. Not enough to be naughty. Just enough to be nice, but never enough to be just enough to be nice Not enough to be naughty Just enough to be nice But never, ever, ever enough to be naughty Thank you. Thank you, Jim. I've got a nice little story for you. Here it comes. <laughs> you ready, Randy? Well, I got, I got to do mine in a couple of weeks. That's right. <laughs> now I get to speak them the truth. <laughs> That's right. I speak them the truth tonight because Randy always gets it wrong. Of course. 
Um, He's a guy. No, Brandy, Brandy, um, we were dating for probably about mm, six or seven months, wasn't it? I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> anyway, he um, he decided that he was going to go take take a trip, and I wasn't invited. So I thought, okay, me and my son are going to go down to the coast and go hang out with my girlfriends from college. Woo! So that's what I did. I took a weekend trip, and he didn't get invited. It was a revenge vacation. No, it was just, you know, it was a trip I needed to make for a while anyway. Yeah, that's a good question. There's another song in process. <laughs> anyway, he uh, sat at home and sulked, and he wrote a really mean song. And then he went to the Dallas Songwriters, where this that's where we met Ian. And Wit. And Wit, and some other people. But anyway, they went to the, he went to the Dallas Songwriters and played this song for him, and the guys were like, oh, my God. What's going on? Are you and Helen okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, after I found out he wrote that song, yeah. I thought, okay. It's one good thing about being a songwriter. You can kind of battle through song. So I wrote this song. It's what I call my attitude song. And it kind of tells it like it is. I said I'm here today. Love me like I am. If it's me you like, you can be my man Come on and dance with me, twirl me around Tell me you love me, take me out of the town I said I'm here today, love me like I am Have a whole lot of fun, a package of dynamite If it sounds good to you, we will be
said, hey everybody, let's have some fun. You only live once. When you're dead, you die.